Okay. Hopefully the lighting's good. Uh, what we're doing is putting uh, chicks out of here a little bit later, but we're getting this all prepared. And we're putting down some uh, fine uh, pine shavings. We got two bricks in there to put the uh, water and the uh, feed down for them. And we're gonna put a heat lamp up on top. And then uh, in future video, we're gonna make a uh, brooder so we can put in here so we don't have to use this anymore for the chicks. Be a little bit easier. Thank Elijah. They'll, they'll probably like it. Huh? They'll probably like it. Yeah, I think so. And then we'll get the heat lamp. Get that set up. I just use a piece of wire. I can put this up and I put another piece of wire for safety. Adjust it up as we go for the chicks. We're just getting this all set up so we can uh, get the chicks out here. Put that right there. And then we'll go in and get the feeders real quick. Okay, go ahead. How many hatched out of? We had 37, no, 36 out of 38. That's real good. Hatched. We had some really good hatch rates. Is that better? Again? 
Now their beaks have already been dipped so they know how to eat and drink. Typically we leave them in the house for 24 hours and then they come out here. they put them in here we'll get the heat lamp ready we bought a a heat brooder one of those chick brooders but because I knew we'd have a large hatch we bought the biggest one not realizing it wouldn't fit in here so we need to make a new chick brooder and so for now, we have to do the heat lamp still. What do you think? Um, we'll just test it and see how they act around it. We might have to lower it a little bit. See, and I just did it. Do you want to fill that with water, please? Try that out. Right there at the sink. It's cool that you guys have your own sink in here. Now, if you don't have a temperature gauge in your brooder, the best way to, to know if your, your heat lamp is at the right height is just watch the chicks. If they're um, bunched up around it, laying on top of each other, then you know you've got it too high and you need to lower it. If you have it too low, they'll all be spread out around the edges of it. You just want to see them kind of in groups all over your brooder, then you know you your heat is, is at the right height. We always put a little apple cider vinegar in our water. You want to get that one? Um, it's just a good probiotic for them. Perfect. And we do that the whole time they're in the brooder. We, we always give them some apple cider vinegar water. So there's 36 chicks. These are just a barnyard mix of what we have out back. Um, most of these are sold. So this is just, um, we, I sell hatching eggs so we always, I always try, we always try and make sure that we have um, uh, a good hatch rate and so we'll hatch every two or three months and sometimes we keep sometimes we sell I have um, more eggs coming in next week that I want to hatch um, to add some diversity to our flock so what kind of uh, hatching eggs? Were, I'm, I'm getting lavender orpington and um, leghorn hatching eggs so so I'll figure out what we've got there and then then decide to go from there on ours. Look at that one that's gray that's got the black cape around it. That's really that's a, pretty. That's a pretty cool one there. Let me see if I can focus in on it. It is really pretty. They probably can't see it with the uh, but it's really pretty. It's kind of a silvery gray and it's got like a black ring around its neck. I like the barnyard mixes. You never know the colors you're going to get. Well, welcome back. Uh, me and uh, Arisha last night uh, decided on, uh, she's seen this table here that I was going to put over in the corner there for my shop. We're going to use that. We're making a chicken brooder. These are one by sixes. And we're gonna shorten it up and use plyboard for the bottom. And we'll let you guys see what we come up with. Getting close. This is the brooder. He's been working on it all day.
just going to put a door with hinges on it in the front. And it's almost done. Yeah, it is. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Just wanted to give you the update on the chick brooder. Um, Jeff's worked on it the last couple of days. I think he showed you um, part of it, you know, as he was getting it done. Um, this is where we're at. The chicks are in it, guys. <clears throat> I hatched out uh, 36 out of 38 um, barnyard mixes from from our own coop um, these are all sold so I'm erasing them until they're off the heat and then delivering them to their new homes so anyways I absolutely love this this is it's amazing guys he's Jeff is so good he anytime I need anything he's or even mention he's right on it so we did this because I purchased a chick warming plate now this comes from my pet chicken they're they're not sponsors of the channel um, but if I remember I'll leave a link to this one this is the biggest one they have I think it's 16 by 24 and it fits up to 50 chicks so I tend to hatch in large numbers so I'd rather um, have have too much than not enough so anyways I'm gonna lift this door and you guys can see what it looks like we have it very nicely set up got their water there's a little apple cider vinegar in their water of course their feed is um, all-purpose crumbles um, I buy a 50 pound bag whenever they go through that they're generally ready to go on pellets and I don't do chick starter I don't do medicated feed um, I do all-purpose that takes them from from chick they can they can even have it out in the coop as long as you give them oyster shells on the side um, so anyways, anytime you have a broody hen that you've got in the coop with the rest of the chickens, um, you can just switch all of the chickens onto an all-purpose and just make sure the hens get um, the oyster shells because chicks cannot have the layer pellets. It's too much calcium for them. And that's the brooder. I don't think I can get up underneath there. There are some chicks under there. Let's see how many is under there. Oh yeah, they're staying all toasty and warm. Now we will drop this a little bit. Um, this evening we've got it set a little high because they were having a hard time figuring out what it was. But now that they all know that that is their heat source, um, we can drop it tonight so they'll make sure and stay warm. But anyways, I think he told you the dimensions of this is... Uh, 16 by 68 I believe he said if I'm wrong I'll I'll put a disclaimer um, I'm not really sure how high it is but you know I can get in and out of here let me set you guys down I like it because I can get in and out of it I can I can do whatever I need to do I don't need to stoop no bending no squatting no reaching it's everything is just right here um, you know, they're chicks right now. We'll see how it goes with this being up. You know, if I get escapees trying to get out while I'm in here. Um, you know, we'll see. For right now, this is, everything is, um, trial. You know, we're trying this out to see how well it does. Um, so, there you go. The brooder is in. It's ready. Chicks are in here. Everybody's happy, healthy, eating. And we'll move on to other things. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks!